to talk about the story about the unwelcome guest. So I said that um, the other day that I showed you how to fold a piece of paper into beginning, middle, and end. And then um, I wanted to show you what I drew and then the answers to the questions. And then I'm going to show you something really cool and epic. All right, so first thing I'm going to show you my picture. So I just took my paper and I folded it. Um, it's beginning, middle, and end. So in the beginning, what I drew was the snake was coiled around itself. So it was kind of like wrapped up like the rope. Um, it was trying to stay warm, I assume. And it's sleeping. So I had like little Z's next to him and I labeled snake. And then I drew a rhino. And I drew, um, you know, he looks kind of mad. And also he's stomping up to the cobra. I kind of wanted to show that he is making a lot of noise. And then in the middle... I wanted to show that the snake started flaring up and then he has he has a hood that's what it's called and it comes out when he's uh, mad so I had tried to draw the flaring hood and then I drew the spit and labeled it and then I have the rhino there kind of kind of I kind of gave him like a surprise look um, so I did that and then in the end I have you know, the cobra is still flaring up, but then the poison got into the rhino's eye. Okay. And then uh, when I flipped it over on the back, what I did was I wrote um, beginning a rhino stomped, stomped up to a sleeping cobra. And then in the middle, I wrote the cobra flared up and spit poison at the rhino. And then in the end, I said the poison hit the rhino in the eye. He ran away from the cobra. That was hard to draw. I really wanted to draw that in my drawing because it's important that he ran away. So, but I made sure that I wrote that instead. All right, going back to the slides, I wanted to sh uh, share with you the answers to the questions. Hold on, let it load. All right, what's the main idea of the story? The main idea of the story was a rhino and a cobra got into a fight. Why do you think the rhino ran away? The rhino ran away because he got poison in his eye and the poison hurt him. Do you think the cobra spit in the rhino's face on purpose? Yes, I believe that the cobra spit in the rhino's face on purpose to scare him away. Why do you think the rhino's eyes were burning? The rhino's eyes were burning because he got poison in them. Why do you think the cobra raised up? The cobra raised up and flared his hood. That is his way of scaring people or rhinos away. Do you think the rhino saw the cobra as he stomped up? Why or why not? I believe that the rhino saw the cobra because when you stomp, you're not trying to be quiet. You're trying to be very loud. Okay, that's it for that. And then I wanted to show you um, the girls in my group um, really seemed to love the cobra, um, thought he was really cool, which he most definitely is. So I wanted to show you an epic. Um, if you go, here, I'll go back to student. If, if I go to student view, you log in, you know, like you would, and you put in the word cobra into the search right here. Come on, cooperate. Why isn't it doing it? There you go. Sorry, it took you a little bit. Um, you see, there's a lot of fun Cobra books. Um, so I think that if you really liked the Cobra and wanted to know more about him, um, that's definitely something that you could do to see to learn more about him. I thought that was just really cool. Um, and, and some of them are read to me or some of them you read to um, yourself. So that could be a fun thing for you to do. All right. Thank you.